In this tutorial, we are going to learn about a second way to create choreography in JavaScript called set interval. So many forms of dance steps are cyclical and repetitive. Um, usually you start with a position and you go through a series of formation and steps and you return to that same um, configuration with your feet. <laughs> and, and so thinking about creating multiple different kinds of looping system and cyclical system in JavaScript is very much like creating and designing a choreography. So let's um, actually start by getting rid of all of our P5 function here and get a close look at what set interval does. So set interval um, actually look awfully similar in terms of syntax with set timeout. It also takes two argument. The first argument is going to be a function and the second one is going to be a millisecond. So down here, I'm going to say function one. And in there, I am going to say, this is my first loop. And if I hit play here, um, what is going to happen is that it is going to execute function one every two seconds because when the program reads line number one, it understands that I need to be looping this, this whatever is contained inside of the set interval method every two seconds. So, so in a way, you know, this is beautiful because it's like you can create your totally, you know, customized like function draw on your own. And so let's actually create a couple more and just see how they're going to, you know, react to one another. So if I do two and three here, and maybe I can, you know, have the first one repeat every one second, the second one repeat every, no, actually, first one repeat every two seconds, second one repeat, let's say every three seconds, and the third one repeating maybe just every five seconds. And I'm going to create those functions now. Okay, so if I hit play here, I am going to see, <laughs> you know, a, a very kind of like elegant um, cascading and sequencing of my different loop coming in at different time. So they're all, each of these set interval method are their individual universe, right? And each of these universe essentially like, you know, queue different events up so that, you know, when it's time for it to perform and show up, um, it, it would it would show up in the console. So, so this is uh, basically how set interval works. Let's actually now um, apply this to our, our actual animation. So I have a template here um, that loads a font um, that's inside the OTF format and also just draw the text um, that's coming out of my sentence array on the canvas and we're gonna start from this stage. So maybe what I could do, I mean there's millions of things I can do, but uh, the first thing I can maybe do is I'm going to create a set interval in my setup and I'm going to again um, schedule like the first event and, and with set interval, we have to kind of approach this in a slightly different way compared to set timeout, right? So we have to think about, okay, what is something that I want to sort of um, repeat in a loop over and over and over again? So, so one possibility for this, and I'm gonna actually make it maybe repeat every one second for now. Um, so function one, 
Uh, what, can, what I can maybe do is, let's say, let's change the size of the font every second. So then what I can say is TS equals to random, and what if I just say 100? So, so if I do that, every second it is going to trigger a different size um, for my font, right? And, and I can maybe also do that for um, other stuff. Let's see, um, what if I create a second set interval and have it happen every two seconds? And maybe this time I could change, let's say, the rotation. So I already have, no, I don't. So I'm going to create a rotate R here. And I am going to make my rotation R equals to random 360. And this is also where I have to remember to change my translate. So my translate is going to be 200, 200. I'm going to make my text 0, 0 instead. Okay, and maybe another thing I can do is I can maybe load a random, you know, string from my sentence array every time it plays. So what I can do here is I can say over here the word is going to be random sentence, right? And I can actually just copy and paste that line into my function one and function two. So, so if I hit play here, <laughs> it's just going to load a different text every time um, my set interval is executed, right? So, oh, actually it doesn't make sense because like one is one second, one is two seconds. So I, I just need one. I just needed to randomize in like the one second version. And so, so in this way, you can, you can really start um, thinking about your like program as a timeline and think about how you are going to schedule different events across the timeline.